Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, thank you guys all so much for kind of hanging on and waiting for videos to come out. So, you guys saw the last video. I got hurt, haven't been able to do anything. My wrist has been getting better. So I finally got the doctor's approval to start actually doing stuff. Still a little bit on the weight limit, but I just can't put like all the weight on my wrist. It's kind of how it is when you break it in two places. So, that being said, today we're gonna be doing a lot. And like by a lot, I mean, I have a lot planned. We're just gonna see how things go. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of dive right into what we have going is we got the rear diff. We may do a little bit on the transfer case. Uh, I picked up a welder from a friend of mine. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the bolts that are seized in the rear subframe out. Uh, we got bushings for the rear bar, like for the mustache bar. We got rear bushings for the mounts that hold the diff in place i got a new but you new to me but used exhaust manifold that's been coated at least one time so it's not all completely rusted so we're putting that on i got the new studs for the turbo gaskets for the turbo uh we're gonna try to put all that on today maybe try to wire it mainly right now we're gonna be trying to do a a lot on the diff so i'm gonna be Doing a little quick on that, but I'm also probably going to do a how-to for the rear diff. I may not, I don't know. I may just push this thing through. I've seen that there's a lot of how-to on the rear diffs for the Evo 8s, 9, the RS, all that stuff. So I may just may just knock it out and put it together, show you guys how I'm doing it, how I'm gonna be completely refreshing everything on the rear diff, because my diff case is good, but the back cover is cracked. It doesn't look like it was leaking, but it looks like if I actually went and put, and once you break it apart, put it back together, it would it would just completely crack in half once I put the pressure back on that that spot that's been cracked. For, it looks like for a long time. I don't know how you, you crack that case. It looks like it's never been open because I was scraping a lot of the old OEM stuff off of it. So uh, that being said though, let's just go ahead and get right into it.
Uh, next time we're going to be doing on this one is we're going to be replacing this seal, the outside lip seal, because this seal isn't leaking. Nothing is all wrong with this. So we'll be leaving that alone. Replacing this O-ring, this O-ring. We'll leave this seal alone. I have a surprise coming in from Chris Barnett. And I'm trying to flip it so you guys can see where it's at. I ordered... I gotta pay off the rest of what I owe, but... I ordered a cooler. So this plate is replaced by a... It's like just like a looks like a little fin. It looks like a couple of fins. Looks like kind of like this right here, but they're finned out. So to keep this thing lasting as long as I can, we're going to be replacing this cover. It's just a simple, quick four bolts, some seal on it, and that's it. And then we'll be putting this in the car. So that'll be closer to us getting that running. That's going to be a different video. Let me go ahead and get this thing moved out of the way. So I've already, I already scraped off a lot of this because I've already been in this once to check to see if the inside was worth rebuilding. So the problem I was having with replacing the outside case was when I took off, when I started taking it apart, you can see where it's been cracked for a long time on this. And we're gonna build this thing, we're gonna build the right way. Plus it was already missing the breather up top. So I ordered a new one. That was a bitch. The damn bolts started rounding off on the damn head.
Well, that's about it. Luckily, uh, luckily that's about it. Getting everything all sensed up with the rear end, we're gonna be done with it finally. Four hours to do that? That's eh, not bad. Considering I was taking my time and making sure everything got done right. All right, guys, so before we get to the new studs for the turbo, got the studs for the exhaust side and the O2 side. So we're going to do the new torque solution bushings for our rear diff real quick. Just gonna, luckily enough, these are just push and you're done. I still gotta find my bolts for them. I don't know what to do with them. Pretty sure I have them in a box, but not that big of a deal. So we're just gonna push these real quick and then we'll start on the turbo. Obviously these will go in with the suspension when we do the suspension. All right, guys, as I'll show you guys, I uh, went ahead and bolted it up real quick. Got all the bolts on it. I found them. They were in a box. So, I mean, holy crap. Fresh rebuild on a diff. Did the stack mod on it. So, hopefully, when we put this thing in, I mean, it's going to be good to go. There was no abnormal wear on anything. Everything looks so clean. This thing only has 120, I think it was 122 when I turned on the dash. It doesn't look like it's ever been rough. I mean, besides the, there was some rust right here. I missed some cleaning it up, but I mean, you're not really gonna see it. I mean, as long as the, as long as it's clean, that's all that matters. I had to shoot a little bit more spray on it, but I mean, this thing's really nice when we get in the car. So excited, especially with the mustache bar. I'm gonna take off the mustache bar. I have some uh, polyurethane bushings for that as well. We'll shoot that in black. Unless I decide to go with the torque solution delete for it. But that being said, I uh, 
I was gonna do this tonight, but I'm, I'm tired. I'm exhausted, I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna probably come back in tomorrow. We'll do some more. Uh, if I don't get to put out the video for the next setup we're gonna do, uh, I kinda wanted to wire it up. I started to take stuff off, but I'm just, I'm just so exhausted. I've been doing this thing for, been at it for like six hours today. So just going to call it a win with what we got. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for all the support. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification. And hopefully we'll uh, start cranking them out more. Hopefully I'll put one out today. Hopefully crank one tomorrow. And if I can't get to removing the subframe tomorrow, we're gonna at least at minimum, we're gonna wire the engine tomorrow and do the turbo. Cause the turbo luckily is just thread the studs into it, put the gaskets on it, put it on the motor and then start wiring stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to bump over the engine. So I may go pick up some oil tomorrow, but like I said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you.